Texas, home of Friday Night Lights, Texans love their football. But when Michael Sorrell arrived in Dallas to take up the position of president at Paul Quinn College, he discovered the school was suffering from an absence of first downs. When I first arrived at Paul Quinn, it was a completely broken institution. The greatest symbol of our ineptitude was our football program. The teams lost almost every game. So there was nothing about the football program that spoke to hope. So from a business standpoint, we terminated the football program. Everyone always says to me, oh, how could you cut the football program? It's so incredible. Okay, we weren't in a pipeline to the NFL. It was an incredibly bold move for President Sorrell in his second day in office to say, we're not gonna play football anymore. We're gonna do something else with this space that is positive for the school, that is positive for the community, and that makes fiscal sense. Paul Quinn College is in a food desert. We are in a desert of everything but convenience stores. We are located about 10 minutes south of downtown Dallas. If you live north of downtown, you have an amazing life. You have every restaurant, everything that you could ever need. If you live south of downtown, your experience could rival that of some developing countries. When people don't have access to healthy food, when they don't have access to affordable food, they make bad food choices. When you make bad food choices, it's going to impact your lifestyle because you're gonna be sick more often. You're gonna have less energy. You're gonna be less effective. So we decided to invest in ourselves. We transformed our football field into a farm. We're not some novelty story anymore. Like, it's a farm. We now have the 3,000 square foot greenhouse, along with the two acre organic farm. I grow everything from shoots and microgreens to herbs like purslane, basil, or rosemary. In the field, we have great tomatoes, we have squash, cucumber, a lot of different radish varieties, okra, and we also have carrots that are coming up, kale. Dill is coming up, I saw dill the other day. We raise bees for honey, I've got chickens for eggs, and I raise tilapia inside of our greenhouse. Because it is Texas and football is the hottest thing, our scoreboards are still here, the goals are still here, and we still use the lingo, first down, second down, third down, fourth down, and home and visitor side. They can literally leave the residue of the diseases in the soil. So my students come from different walks of life. Tiana comes from Los Angeles and had never been on a farm before coming to this one. I definitely love getting my hands dirty. To me, it's about education for us to know how important it is to have fresh produce. When people mention it's a garden, I'm like, hey, 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 this is a farm, right? A garden is that cute little thing you have behind your house. This is an enterprise. We donate at least 10% of what we grow uh, to local food pantries through a partnership with the North Texas Food Bank. Our largest customer is the Dallas Cowboys. Here's the irony of all ironies. We now send far more food to the NFL than we ever did football players. The chefs love our produce, and we're gonna get it to them as freshly as possible. Today, I'm gonna go harvest some food. I'm gonna take it over to a restaurant. They're gonna have it on a plate this evening. It's super inspiring that they're doing this at Paul Quinn. I mean, it's not often you hear of somebody turning their football field into an organic garden. We got a bunch of baby kale thinning from our new kale crop. Well, we have a kale salad on the menu, so I think we'll do that, and I'll show you how that all looks. So this is y'all's uh, dinosaur kale, so it's a warm salad with y'all's kale and y'all's radishes. Since it's nice baby kale like this, we can just leave the leaves whole. While we're doing that, we can work on the radishes. Purslane, it's kind of a, a weed. It grows all over the place. The fun part is to be able to identify that and say, we're gonna put this weed in somebody's salad. You wait till the oil just kind of starts smoking a little bit. And then I just put all the other components in. And then this is the cheese, shaved uh, ricotta salata on top. Y'all try this with me. That's good. That's really good. I'm floored. The food was magnificent. I totally never cook kale, so <laughs> this was awesome sauce. 
There's a few different dishes that we do pickles on, so a lot of times when I get stuff from y'all, I'll pickle it. This is actually one of my favorite cucumbers. The variety is Punakira. The peak ripeness is right when it turns from yellow to brown. I mix it all together, and then I salt it for a few hours. And what that does, it releases all the liquid out of it. These are beautiful, these marigolds. You want to try one? Here you go, eat the whole thing. The marigolds were really good. I've never actually eaten a flower that you were supposed to eat. So this is my pickle liquid. I've got some saffron in this, so the saffron really adds a nice color. It all gets your head in there. With my food, it's important to know where it comes from. I can only do so much. Well, we grow with love. <laughs> we want to run a fiscally responsible business, but we also are in the business of teaching people to dream bigger dreams. There's simply nothing that we can't use that farm to teach. My students learn an entire range of skills, and most of my students aren't gonna be farmers. They're gonna be whatever they're passionate about. They're gonna be teachers, they're gonna be educators, they're gonna be nurses and doctors and philanthropists and entrepreneurs, and that's what I want them to be. But here at the farm, I'm trying to teach a whole range of skills, and we want to ensure that when they leave the work program and leave Paul Quinn, that they're career ready. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, the football field saved Paul Quinn College. Because, you know, honestly, who wouldn't love the idea of creating a new field of dreams?